Hello friends. Welcome to this special effects tutorial from Aroha Media. In this assignment, we are going to learn how to animate a water ripple. Let's begin by creating a new document. Then go to properties and select blue as a background color. Now we go to the timeline and set the length as 75 frames on layer 1. Shortcut key F5. Here we take 75 frames length equal to 3 seconds. We can change the length later if required. Next, we select the oval tool and we choose the thickness as 10 for the outline. Now we select blue and further we select a light blue shade by clicking on color swatch. to the modify shape option we select convert lines to fill by doing this the outline of the oval gets converted into an object with fill from an outline now that this is an object we can edit the shape of it now we have to add corners to the shape by using the selection tool and pressing control key as shown in the video this can be the beginning of the water ripple we can see the thin movement of water which can be called as water ripple. Next, we convert it into a symbol and name the symbol ripples. Now we have to insert some more frames by entering into the symbol. Shortcut key F5. Next, we again select that shape by entering into the same symbol and then again convert into a symbol. Name it ripples shape. Now we animate the basic ripple by entering into this symbol. Next, we add a keyframe on the 6th frame. Then open the scale and rotate dialog box by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus S and scale up. Now go to properties and add shape twin to it. Next, we add a new layer. Now add a blank keyframe to the frame after the last keyframe on the first layer. This way, we can hide layer 1 from frame number 7. Here on the new layer, copy the last keyframe from the first layer and paste it on the last frame as seen in the video. We will realize the importance of this later on when we add more layers. Now, we add a keyframe on the 10th frame on the second layer and we scale it up to 125% by pressing Ctrl plus Alt plus S key. Then we add Shape Twin. Here we play the animation and we can see that the circular shape is scaling up. We can do this complete animation on only a single layer also. But later we'll see that using separate layers gives us more room for editing the animation. Now we increase the length by one frame so it is the 11th frame. Next, we again add a new layer. On the second layer, again we add a blank keyframe on the 12th frame after the last keyframe, just like we had done on layer 1. This is to avoid the layer being seen after the last keyframe. Now we copy the last keyframe from the second layer to the same place on the new third layer. Then we again convert it into a symbol. Now we name the shape which we have copied as ripples. We edit this shape by entering into the symbol and we decrease the thickness of the shape as shown in the video. As the ripple gets large, it breaks into different parts. So we draw the required shape into this symbol.
and we add a keyframe on the 17th frame. Next, we scale up the symbol and add motion twin into it. Now we again add another new layer, 4, and press F7 on the frame after the 17th frame to add a blank keyframe. Next, we duplicate the last key of the third layer and place it on layer 4 in the same place. Now we break this symbol and again convert it into a symbol. Now the symbol is named ripple underscore 01. Next, we again change the shape by entering into a symbol and slightly decrease the thickness of the shape because we have to spread it more. So, we try to add some more corners. Now again, by coming out of the symbol, we add a keyframe to the 23rd frame and scale it up by 125%. Then add motion twin. Here, we can see the continuity of the animation. Next, we again insert a new layer 5. Then, we duplicate the key as per the previous steps and insert a blank key by pressing F7 key to the previous layer after the last keyframe. Now we break the key of the new layer because we have to create a new symbol by giving a specific name, Ripple03. By entering into this symbol, we have to make pointed the corners of the shape, then we have to decrease the thickness and we almost break the corners. Here, we can see the ripple is breaking slowly. We edit this by using the selection tool and pressing the control key. Now we increase the length of animation by one or two frames. Next, we add a new layer and copy the last key of the earlier layer on the new layer. Then break it and convert it into a symbol and name it Ripple 4. Now we are editing the shape again by entering into this symbol. Here, we are breaking the ripple from all the sides. add a new layer 7. Now, we copy and paste the last key from the layer 6 onto layer 7 in the same place. Then, break it and convert it into a new symbol and name it Ripple 5. Now we have to add breaks by entering into this symbol. We are adding the corners in the remaining patches. Here, we are using the same technique with some repetitions.
Now we again come out of the symbol and add a keyframe on the 41st frame. Then scale it up to 125% and add motion twin to it. We can see the animation of the water ripple. We can observe breaks in the water ripple as it flows away from the source. Then add a blank keyframe after the last keyframe on the earlier layer just as we have done with all the previous layers. Now we add another layer 8. Then we copy the last keyframe from layer 7 and paste it in the same place on layer 8. Then break it and convert it into a symbol and name it ripple 6. Now we edit the patches in the remaining shapes by entering the symbol. Here we are cutting edges and forming small shapes from them because we have to show them as completely sprayed out. This may be the last key symbol in which we are editing the drawing. Now, we again come out of the symbol and add a keyframe as seen in the video. Then, scale it up to 125% and add motion twin to it. Here, we select the alpha option in the last key and set its alpha to 0. Which means that the ripples will be completely transparent and thus will not be seen. Here, a ripple is being created and also disappearing at one point. Now we can see the complete animation here. In this way, the animation of one ripple is completely ready. Now we use the same ripple and make duplicates of it. Set variations in timings and prepare multiple ripples. Now we come out of the symbol and we add two new layers. Thank you.